Hi guys, today I'm bringing you a video that I'm really happy I'm recording. Uh, I'm not used to recording videos like this, but I had to bring this um, to you because you need to know this. If you're a trimethylaminuria sufferer, you need to because it's hard. When I used to have it, it was psychologically very hard. And <clears throat> I need to share this with you. Basically, it's a cure for 3-methylamenuria. Whatever, if I spell it wrong, just deal with it because it's hard to spell. Um, where do we begin? Where do I begin? I'm going to tell you. Um, where, how it happened to me, because I wasn't born with it, I wasn't born with 3-methylaminuria, I actually acquired it um, about a year ago, um, because I took choline supplements, um, probably in a way too high amount, and for some reason that caused 3-methylaminuria, um, the 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 reason why this disease happens is or at least in my case uh, is because of um, gut bacteria that feed on choline and they turn choline into this uh, TMA chemical that I'm not sure exactly what the chemical is but they turn it into a chemical that basically smells like fish it smells it smells pretty bad and if you have, if you've had trimethylaminuria, which if you're here, you probably do, or you know somebody, um, you know that is a pretty, pretty awkward smell. Um, when I when I acquired it, um, it was like I was very confused. Like I just smelled myself, and I smelled very, like very strong, like fake fish. This had never happened to me, and I knew that it was the common supplements, because they're the only thing that could have caused them so it took a lot of a lot of them like I probably took like two three grams of two grams or something of, of CDP choline I'm not sure exactly how much I took but whatever the point is that I got trimethylaminuria from doing that and um, I took it over like over a few days a lot so um, my brother told me like you smell like shit. He told me and I was like, yeah, I know, I know. And I got got went to, went took a bath and like t ten minutes after taking the bath, I smell like shit again. And I was it was it was strange and it didn't go away over the days, which was quite scary. And I researched that like crazy, figured out that I had that had this and. For months, I didn't I didn't know how to cure it, or I didn't know that I could even treat it. But I did find about um, chlorophyll and activated charcoal, which are uh, a couple of things you can get like uh, in Amazon or at a pharmacy. And they basically cover the smell. If you take activated charcoal or chlorophyll, um, they'll just get rid of most of the smell. And I figured I've, I figured that out months after um, getting the disease. But when I did, um, it, they helped a lot. If you're desperate and you haven't tried them and you have uh, trimethylaminuria, uh, go get those right now. Um, chlorophyll or activated charcoal. Activated charcoal work best, but. Uh, I don't know if it's good to take it. I know that it made my poop black, <laughs> um, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. And anyways, it's it, this these things were band aids, and they didn't really cure the disease, but they just like covered up the smell. So they were they weren't like a a, a permanent solution. 
so I'm gonna tell you what really did cure it for me what what actually helped me to get rid of all of my symptoms permanently and basically how I cured my my fumethylaminuria um, my fumethylaminuria is the type 2 because I it's an acquired type of fumethylaminuria and but I think it may also help people with with it with type 1 and if you think you have type 1 you may actually have type 2 and just don't know it you, because you were born you were born with it but could be because of a gut gut uh, bacteria thing because the thing is that um, all you gotta do to fix this is to basically uh, kill the bad bacteria or make them disappear and you can do that by taking good bacteria or probiotics or by feeding good bacteria and first after finding out that that could help I bought like those you know some probiotics that they sell like on, on capsules on, on Amazon or, or in stores with 30 billion uh, units or whatever I tried those and I, they actually didn't help um, I don't know why, but that, that was my experience. Um, what did help was home brewing my own kombucha. Um, wait, let me bring it. I have, I have it right here. This kombucha is like a fermented tea that you can make at home. It's pretty easy to make and it's like a natural probiotic that you can make at home and it's way cheaper and it's, um, I think it's much better and more potent and it has a, a bigger impact on your gut because the store-bought probiotics didn't do crap for me. And this thing did it like my smell went away within four days or so when I started taking this so you definitely gotta try it out Um I think that I've, I've talked with other people that have cured it and they told me that kefir also worked for them and I'm sure there are also other pro probiotic um, probiotics that you can take to you know deal with this but kombucha worked for me so I suggest you try that and that's all I got I that's all I have to say try kombucha cure your thermothalmanuria tell me if it worked for you uh, I hope this helps somebody because um, there's a lot of people with rheumatoaminuria who don't know about this and it's surprising but it's also not that surprising because it's a very rare disease um, for, sorry for the M saw the fucking hell freaking video <clears throat> I'm always ming all day especially because um, English isn't my native language but anyways uh, try the <laughs> here I go back again with a uh, try kombucha tell me if it worked for you um, if this helps one person then it's it's worth it this video is worth it if it just helps one person I'm gonna upload this to YouTube YouTube and hopefully um, somebody will take this thing and cure themselves that's it guys